What's going on guys, welcome to the House Works channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you are new here, I upload daily content. I did not upload yesterday simply for the fact that the projects that I did work a little bit on, there just wasn't enough work that was done just to make content about it. So today I just have a title of this video. I'm just gonna be going to some stores, um, trying to find some deals. I'm also trying to look for some lights at Hobby Lobby because we are going there too. Because I'm trying to put lights in my Ninjago City to try to give it that little extra flair. So yeah, let's go. We are just about to leave, but first I wanted to show you this. I was working on this this morning. There we go. Oh, the comic shop lights up. I think it looks pretty cool. Just on this little, like, box thing I have over here. I can probably show you later once we get home with the hall and everything. But I do want to light up at least all, like, the main shops of Ninjago City. Because I think that would look pretty cool. So that's why we're going to, um, or that's what I'm going to be looking for at Hobby Lobby is some, like, some little lights. So hopefully we can find some. Okay, so I'm at Hobby Lobby and I did get some of these lights. So just stay tuned till the end of the video for the haul, so then you guys can see them. I, I pretty much bought out these two things and what was there. These are still five dollars at Five Below. These, some more fake stuff. Still got those. So pretty much the usual at Five Below. Okay, so this is at Meyer. Got some clearance tags here. That's a pretty good one. Still need to get that set. That one's pretty good. Uh, got the Spinjitzu Masters on sale now. Clearance, I guess. And then here, yeah, the SOG Headquarters. That's about $10 off, I'm pretty sure. And you can always pause the video if you want to look at it better here. Focus. Oh, yeah, the Quick Mac. Don't know if I showed that. This one's pretty good. Um, what else? I. I I'm pretty sure this is on sale, but I don't think the tag is here. So, yeah, this is a way thinner box than I thought. But, um, yeah, this really destroyed Star Wars box. Back there. Uh, what else do we have? I guess those are gone. This is another Lego Batman movie. This stuff is going on clearance a lot. Lego Batman movie stuff is. Stunt Flyer. This one's newish, I think, but. Clearance. Um, the series 18 situation is doing pretty bad. We only have one left. It's the brick girl. So, and then over here is just some of the friends and junior stuff that's sort of on sale. And there's some poly bags over there, which I'll get to in a minute. But yeah. And there's some mega constructs here on clearance too. There are tons of these Wuku poly bags, so I'm sure they'll go half off sometime here soon. I already have one though. Uh, those are still here. That one, I already have those. So. Dimensions is clearance, pretty much. Yes. But the dimension stuff that's over there doesn't seem to be clearance, only this. So, I don't know. Okay guys, we're back home now. I've been back home for a while, I actually just haven't um, ended up um, filming the haul yet. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna turn this on right here. Let me put the camera down there. There you go, okay. I also got a tripod when we were out, so hopefully that helps with the videos and everything. This is just the case of the tripod. It also works on my Canon Vixia, so when I make the switch to using that, which will happen soon, and the quality will get a lot better. Um, so when I was at, so we went to GameStop, right? This is crazy. Oh, so we went to GameStop and I asked if they had any of the free minifigures, right? So like the Edna and they had more than just the Edna. So they gave me a Lloyd, a uh, Nintendo Lloyd, which was with the Legend of Jago movie game. So they didn't give me one, they didn't give me two, they didn't give me three, but they gave me four Kendo Lloyds. And they didn't give me one Edna, they didn't give me two, didn't give me three, they gave me four. I thought that was pretty crazy. So she walks out with them and it actually took her a while to find them. So I was actually getting kind of worried like, oh no, are they going to be all out? Because this is a pretty popular GameStop apparently. 
and then she comes back, and then she's like, how many do you want? And I, I was about to say, like, well, I, I guess I'll just have one of each. And then she's like, well, I guess I'll give you four of each. So I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. So I'm probably going to give, like, one of these to, like, a friend that I know if, that, if that's like as well. Um, this is where most of the money went today on this next stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll, okay, so let me get everything out and then I'll explain it. It's, it's exciting. But you probably saw my little clip of, at, um, Hobby Lobby and this stuff came from Hobby Lobby. Oh, so look, bag back there. But this is exciting. Okay. Exciting, but kind of expensive, which kind of stinks. Okay, so this plugs into the wall. The end of this, so it doesn't plug into the wall, plugs into this. This is lights. Like, very, very small lights for Ninjago City, kind of like what I have going on right here. Just, that's kind of my makeshift own thing, kind of rinky-dink thing. But these are actually for, like, models and things that you're, like, actually supposed to use them for. This was 20 bucks, which I thought was a little bit overpriced. This was 20 bucks, which I thought was a little bit overpriced. And you can only plug four lights in. I currently have six lights. Um, the lights were on sale because two lights with little, like, sticky on the bottom, I guess, or whatever, come in this. But I also got these two packs of lights, which there's two lights in each one. They, they both have, like, a two-foot kind of length span, so there's two in each, so I got four in total. But these were price reduced, which is pretty awesome. And we used a 40% off, um gift card or whatever on one of the $20 things so it did come out a little bit cheaper and then for $1.50 I got whoa these things are freaking out they need to change the batteries and then for $1.50 I got this extension cord because so there's because I think I'm gonna have to plug it in back here and then I'm gonna plug back there um so I don't know how long it's gonna have to be but yeah, hopefully it all works because this has a longer cord on it too. I've already opened everything up, but this thing's freaking out. I should change the batteries. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage from today and everything. Really exciting stuff with this stuff. It did. It does cost some money because I'm definitely this is probably not going to be enough because I I already don't even have enough holes for all my lights I can only plug in four lights and I have six so yeah I don't know it's exciting so make sure to subscribe because we're gonna we're gonna really light this thing up and it's gonna look so cool if I do end up lighting up the docks as well it's gonna be really expensive I've looked at lighting kits for other like bigger modular sets um, and the site that I was on before did not have one for Ninjago City but the other ones were very expensive they were definitely more than a hundred bucks and I think if I do light up the docks as well as long as Ninjago City with it it's like everything then yeah it's probably gonna be over a hundred bucks but I think it'll be worth it I think it's a little bit really cool so make sure you stay tuned for that it's gonna be really cool it's probably gonna be in tomorrow's video because I want to get started so yeah it's, it's just gonna be exciting I'm really excited I'm gonna probably start working on it now for and does for Lloyd's. I didn't even, I, I wasn't even expecting this. I was like, I was just like, I was, I was just amazed. So, thank you GameStop. Dude, they're so amazing. The people there are so nice. Oh, I hope you guys had a great time watching this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.